Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Could you please state your full name? Gus Yoshio Kawato. Thank you. And where were you born? El Monte, California. And when were you born? What was that? When were you born? March 16, 1926. And can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Just normal, average, <laughs> nothing you know, different. And what did you do for a living? Oh, well, my parents had uh, what's called a gardening, uh, no, truck farm. Oh. Uh, And what were their names? Oh, father's name was, uh, I think, Heikichi. Oh, how do you spell <laughs> that? <laughs> Sorry. I think H, H E I K I C H I, Heikichi. Mother's name was Sakaye, S A K A E. Oh, cool. And so they had a truck farm. Yes. And how big was that truck farm? Do you remember? Oh, gee, I don't know. Maybe 10 acres or less. Oh. It's, it's kind of small farm. You know? uh -huh. And what kind of crops did they grow in this farm? Almost all kind of vegetables. All kinds of vegetables? Yeah different kind, mm -hmm. and some berries. Berries? Uh-huh. Did you have a favorite crop? Well, I didn't, <laughs> you know, because... You didn't? Um, so, were your parents born here? No, they are born in Japan. Oh, do you know where in Japan? Uh, I think it's, uh, the prefecture was Mie, M-I-E. Uh-huh. I don't know about the name of this. Okay. And so they were born in Mie, both of them? Yes. Oh, so were they married in Japan? Yes. Oh, so why did they decide to come to America? Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess maybe there's more opportunities over here for them. Uh-huh. And do you remember when they came? No, I don't. Oh. I see. Did they ever tell you how they got here? Well, they had to come by boat. Mm -hmm. Did they come just by themselves? Well, I guess there were other people too coming at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, well, was your, was your father an only child or? Um, I can't remember. Okay, so you never had any uncles or aunts or anything? I had some uh, aunts. Mm -hmm. And was that from your mom's side or your dad's side? Uh, my father's side. Oh. Do you, do you think they came together or were your aunts already here? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay. So you have your mother and your father, and then you, and then did you have any other siblings? Oh, I had um, four brothers, two sisters. Wow, you had a lot of siblings. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and how did the order go? Were you first? Or were you? Were, I was uh, second from the bottom. Second from the bottom. Uh -huh. So who was younger than you? A hmm? brother? Who was younger than you? A brother or brother. a sister? A brother? Uh -huh. So you had three older brothers, mm -hmm. two older sisters, you, and then your younger brother. Right. Oh, I see. So, 
What is your current occupation? Me? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm retired, so I don't have an occupation. I... And when did you retire? I retired in uh, 87. 87? 1987, I think. Uh-huh. And what did you do right before that? Well, I, I worked for the uh, post office. Oh, wow. As a post postman? The, a mailman? No, no, no. Oh. As a clerk. Oh. For the city of West Covina? No, this was for uh, Los Angeles post office. Oh. I see. And why did you decide to retire? Because I put in my, uh, what, 30 years in? 30 years you yeah. worked at the post office? Yeah. Wow. So I had enough time to retire, so huh. <laughs> <laughs> I retired. Were, were, were those 30 good years? Did you, did you love your job? Well, it was, it was okay. It was better than um, my, some of my friends. What they were doing, they were doing uh, what's gardening. Oh, oh see, there's a lot of work, so I, I took the easy way out. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't want to go into gardening? No, no, I didn't want to. I tried it for a couple of days. There was too much work. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. How did you try for a couple of days? Uh, my brother was uh, gardening, so I was oh. worked for him for a couple of days. It was too hard. Oh. <laughs> So you found a job as a clerk in a post office. Right, uh -huh. I see. <coughs> so you were born in 1926, and at that time, did you go to school? Well, I went to grammar school in uh, West Covina, uh -huh. high school in Covina. Uh -huh. Do you remember what your grammar school was called? Well, there was only one there. I think it was just called West Covina Grammar School. Oh. And then you went to high school? Yes. Did you ever go to college? No. Oh. And did you go to high school before the war or after the war? Oh, that's all before the war. Oh. And you went to West Covina High? No, Covina High School. Oh, Covina High. Yeah. Is there a reason why you didn't go to college? I think I had to work. <laughs> so I, no. Well, did, did you want to go to college? No, oh. I, I didn't think about it. Oh. Can, can you tell me a little bit about your experience in grammar school? Well, all I remember is, well, she was a small grammar school. I think there was only, what, 70, 70 students. In total? From, from uh, kindergarten to uh, eighth grade. Really? Yeah, it was a small school. Wow, that's a really small school. Yeah, it was. And at that time, were there a lot of Japanese Americans or Caucasian? Well, it was mostly Caucasian. Japanese, I think. There was one other, maybe two other families. Japanese. Oh, really? Only? Yeah. Oh. And were you close to those Japanese families? No. No? No. <laughs> <laughs> so no. at school, who did you hang out with? In high school? In grammar school. Well, usually I didn't hang out with them because after school was over, I went home and, you know, helped my uh, parents in the gardening in oh. their farm. Oh. So, so typically, what time would you wake up for school? Hmm? What time would you wake up for school? Did I wake up for school? Mm -hmm. Oh, gee, I don't know. <laughs> Six o'clock? Six o'clock? That's so early. <laughs> yeah, 
six o'clock. I think it was about six, maybe six, at the latest seven. Oh, really? Yeah. How did you get to school? Did you walk? Yeah, I had to walk. Oh. So did you walk with your brothers and sisters? With my brothers. Oh. Yeah. Your sister didn't go to school? Hmm? Your sisters didn't go to school? No. Oh, your sisters didn't go no, to school? No, because they were educated in Japan, huh? So, oh. So they, oh. Didn't, they didn't go to school over there. Oh. So, so they stayed in Japan while you were in America? No, they were over here. Uh-huh. But they're... Well, there was a little bit of age difference, so... Oh. You know. how, how big was the age difference? I would say about maybe 10 years. Oh, that big? Uh-huh. Oh. So, who was older than you? My two sisters. So... And three, three brothers. So the one closest to your age was 10 years apart? The one closest to your age was 10 years apart? Well, closer would be my brother, so. But that would be only about uh, four years, I think. Oh, but your sisters were 10 years apart yeah, from you. Yeah, they were older than. Oh, so they didn't go to school with you. They went no. to school in Japan. Yeah. Oh, I see. So you would walk to school with your brothers, mm -hmm. and then what did you do during recess? <laughs> during recess? Yeah, was there recess? Well, yeah, right? Yeah. Well, gee, I don't remember. Hmm. Maybe went outside and played uh, ball or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. And can, do you remember if you were playing with Caucasian friends or Japanese friends or were there any, do you remember who you were playing with? Yeah, Caucasians. Caucasians? Yeah. So you were friends with them at the time? Uh-huh. I see. And were there any African Americans or? No. Were there any other Asian people? Like yes. Chinese or? Japanese. Were there Chinese people? No. Or Filipino people? No. Also, oh, only Japanese. Yeah. Only Japanese and Caucasian. Yeah. I see. So, what time would you get out of school and then start working? Oh, gee. I, I forget how late. <laughs> I think maybe it's about 2 o'clock we got out of school. Oh. 2 or 3 o'clock. Uh -huh. And then right after, you would go work on yeah. the farm? Help out. Wow, that must be really tiring. No, it wasn't that bad. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so right after school, you would go home, and then what would you do on the farm? Uh, help uh, with the crops. Pick, uh, well, let's say I, I remember picking berries. Picking berries? Yeah, and then uh, help digging up some of the uh, root vegetables. Was that hard work? No. No? No, <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, sorry. Was that fun? Hmm? Was it fun? Well, it wasn't fun, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> but it wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't too bad. And do you remember when you would stop and have a break? Or stop for the day? Oh, well, maybe what was that? Maybe we helped out a couple hours, and that was it. Couple hours? Yeah. So maybe until maybe like two to five. Yeah. What? And then did you have time for homework and? Yeah. After that, I had to do homework. <laughs> yeah. Was it hard? No. No. Okay. And. About what age did you start working on the farm? What age? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, did I can't remember. But oh, uh, that was in the uh, late grammar school, mm -hmm. so I had to be in about seventh or eighth grade in oh. grammar school. Then in high school, I helped out after coming home from uh, school. Mm -hmm. So you were you're pretty young when you started to work in the farm, weren't you? To so help out? Mm -hmm. Yes, I was. Yeah. Okay. And when did you graduate from grammar school? Do you remember? Oh, it's <laughs> been so long ago. Uh -huh. I can't remember the year. Okay. Um, so let's go back to your parents. Did, were they ever educated? Well, I don't know. They came from, I don't know. I think they came from, uh, from Japan, so I don't know if they were, or well, maybe they went to a school in Japan. Uh huh. But they never went to school in America? No, no. So at home, you would speak Japanese with them? Yes, I oh. know. Um, so you wouldn't happen to know if they went to high school or college in Japan? Oh, no, I don't. All that, or I can think that they probably went to finish the gram equivalent of uh, grammar school. That's oh. it. Okay. okay. And can you tell me a little bit about your brothers and sisters? I know you have a lot of them, but what what did they do? What did they do? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, same thing I did. While we were still at home, we would, after school, would help out on the farm. Mm -hmm. That's about it. And when was your younger sister born? The younger sister was about, uh, oh, I, I can't remember. Because all I know, they're older than I was, so. Mm -hmm. But you had one younger sister, right? No, two old, two sisters, but they're both old. Were the oldest? Oh, I meant your younger brother. You had a younger brother, you right? Had a younger brother. So, do you remember when your younger brother was born? Oh, I think he was about uh, two, two or three years younger than I was. Oh. So I, I don't know what, what okay. he says. Okay, so when your, younger when your younger brother was born, was your mom still helping out in the farm? Or was your mom, did your mom help out at the farm or did she just stay at home and take care of them? Well, no, she helped out on the farm. Oh, she did? Yeah. Even, even during her labor days? Mm -hmm. Even when she was pregnant? Or oh, that I don't remember. Oh. Oh, no. So, do you remember who your neighbors were? Mm hmm. And can you tell me about them? Well, they were. They're all farm farmers. Uh huh. On the farm, you know. Uh huh. And were they Caucasian or were they uh, Japanese? Japanese. Oh, they were. Uh huh. So where I lived, there was the one, two, one two, three Japanese uh, families beside oh. myself. Oh, and then what about the rest of the people? There wasn't any around, right? you know, in that neighborhood. There was only the Japanese families. Oh, so were they? Were there wasn't any Caucasian people living next to you? No. Oh, and so. Did you go over to their houses and play a lot? Oh, well, we didn't play a lot, but... Uh, You'd be too busy working on the farm, huh? No. Oh. Were you friends with them? Yes. 
So were, were those families the same people in your grammar school? No. Were the, were the uh, people that I played with, we went to school together. Mm -hmm. So after school, we'd, you know, we would play. Mm -hmm. And what did you play? Well, see, from, from our place to school was quite a distance, so oh, we what? usually played at home. Oh. See, where I was, we didn't have no bus that we had to walk. How far was the walk? Oh, just quite a ways. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. But after I graduated from grammar school, then they started having the bus service. Oh, so <laughs> but, only after you graduated. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so you actually started high school, right? Before the war? Mm-hmm. And in high school, were there more Japanese students or were there more Caucasian students? Well, there were mostly Caucasians. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you said that in grammar school, there was only two other Japanese families. Mm -hmm. And in high school, was that the same case? Mm -hmm. There was only two Japanese no, families? No, there was more than two. Well, maybe there was four families. Only? Yeah. And how big was your high school? You talk about number of students. Mm -hmm. and I don't know how many students oh, there are. Uh -huh. But there was... Oh, was it big or was it small? Well, I would say it's on the small side. Oh. And, and did you get to meet, like, Hispanic, Mexican students in high school? Or like African American or? They're mostly all Caucasians. Oh, so there wasn't any African American or any Hispanic? No, there was no African American. There was a couple of um, Mexican families. Oh, there was? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And how old were you by then? Hmm? How old were you by then? Maybe like, 15? 12, 13 years. Oh, really? Yeah. And so, do you remember what you did in high school? Were you in any clubs? No. No? No. And do you remember who you, you, hang, who you hung out with during school? Well, I had no one close. You didn't have a best friend? No, I didn't. Oh. Okay. What about your teachers? Were they were they were they Japanese or were no. they Caucasian? They're Caucasians. Mm. Did you have a good experience in high school? Oh yes, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. And what did you do to have so much fun? Well, after. During class or after class, to, you know, play ball. Basketball or? Mostly softball. Oh. And yeah, mostly, it was mostly only uh, softball I played. Were you good? I would say average. <laughs> <laughs> and so, who would you play softball with? Oh, just the classmates. Oh, so a lot of them would be Caucasian, right? Mm hmm And you played at school, and then when you went back home, did you have to help out on the farm still? Mm-hmm. Oh, I see. Um, at that time, what was your house like? Your house. What was my house like? Mm -hmm. Well, it <laughs> was just well, one big building that we had the kitchen, dining room, bedroom. That's, That's it? 
Yeah. So how big was this? Well, there was a regular room, and then there was uh, two small bu small buildings right next to it. Oh. So there was one building uh -huh. with the dining room and the kitchen, kitchen. and one room. And then there was two little buildings. There were bedrooms. Oh, so so there was one room in in this little house, and then there's two other little bedrooms. Mm -hmm. Oh, and that was for. No, this one main building was they had bedroom, there was the kitchen, dining room, and bedroom. Uh huh. And then there were two small buildings, uh -huh. bedrooms. Oh. Separate. Oh. Why were they separate? Well... <laughs> was that just like normal at that time? Well, because there was... Well, the main, main one building didn't have enough bedrooms, uh -huh. so we had that one extra, two extra buildings uh -huh. for used for bedrooms. Oh. Did your did your family build those two extra ones? No, no. Oh, they were already there. No. Yeah. And did your did your father buy that land or was he renting it? It was all rent. Oh, it was all rented? Yeah. So it was rented from a Caucasian person? Mm-hmm. And you said it was your farm was about ten acres? Mm-hmm. Um, can you describe to me how it was like at the time? How did, how did Almani look at that time? Because I'm sure it looks different now, right? <laughs> yeah. Were there a lot of trees and... Oh, well, it was mostly farmland. Oh, uh-huh. So it was like dirt, huh? Yeah. Uh, and did you guys have a restroom? Uh, a restroom, a bathroom with plumbing? Oh, no. That was uh, what you call outhouses now. Oh, yeah. so you had an outhouse? Yeah. Oh. That must have been difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Do, did, you, did you hate going to the outhouse? Hmm? Did you hate going to the outhouse? Oh no, get used to it. Oh. So, <laughs> if nature calls, you have to go. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can you imagine? It must be really smelly. Hmm. It must be really smelly. No, it wasn't that bad. Oh really? A lot of it, you know. Fresh air. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> And did your house have working faucets and water? Uh, yes. Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so, right before the war, how old were you? Before the war? Mm -hmm. Just right, right before the war broke out, how old were you? See, that was in war was then started in 41 or mm -hmm. 42. So I was, <laughs> I was born in 1920.